Welcome to your beginning yoga class, courtesy of Purple. My name is Joshua and I'll be guiding you through. Please find a tall, comfortable seat wherever you are. Use any pillows, blankets, bolsters, or cushions. I'm using the Ultimate Seat Cushion by Purple. It helps me sit up really straight. It also is very comfortable and it travels really easily. Use whatever you have available and come to a tall seat. Now, if this tall seat causes you pain, simply lie on your back to get started. We're gonna start simply by closing our eyes and exhaling all the stale air out of our lungs. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Open your mouth, audible exhale. Sigh your breath out. This time, as you breathe in through your nose, make sure your hands go all the way out and touch your knees. Gently exhale out your mouth. Now seal your lips. We're gonna breathe in and out through our nose. Breathe in through your nose, and as you breathe in through your nose, pull your hands towards your hips, lift your chest, and pull your shoulders back. As you exhale, push your hands forward towards your knee, tuck your chin to your chest, and round your spine. Inhale, chest comes up, hands come in, shoulders come back. Exhale, chin to chest, shoulders round, spine punches forward. Inhale. Exhale. To help find this breath in and out through your nose, I want you to visualize fogging up your bathroom mirror as you exhale. So as you breathe in through your nose, chest comes up, shoulders come back. As you exhale out your nose, imagine you're fogging up that mirror. On your next inhale, gently come up to a tall seat. Link open your eyes. Bring your hands to the center of your chest. Now I simply want you to take your palms and really push them together. Take the tips of your fingers and push them into each other. Feel this warm up your biceps, your triceps, your pectorals, your shoulders, your entire upper body. Now pull your hands in closer to your chest. Lift your chest closer to your palms. Breathe. One more breath in, one more breath out. On your next breath in, continue to push your palms, but lift them above your head. Keep that long spine, try not to go forwards or backwards. And then as you exhale, just release your hands down to your side. Feel that open your chest, releasing tension in your shoulders, your scapulas, your scalenes, all over the upper body. Find that nice tall seat. And as we sit here nice and warm, we've connected to our breath, to our bodies. I want you now to connect to your mind. A lot of times we aren't present in our bodies because our minds are running ahead of everything else going on in our lives. The physical practice of yoga gives us the opportunity to slow our minds down so that they're in the same rhythm as our body and our emotions. Wherever you're at, I want you to choose an intention. My intention for you today is gonna be that you simply open up. Maybe that means physically, just in the body. Maybe it means mentally in your thoughts, emotionally in your higher, or spiritually in whatever that means to you. If that suggestion works for you, I want you to take that as a mantra and throughout this class, whenever you're struggling, whenever you're not able to stay present, come back to that simple phrase, I am opening up, I am open. That's all. Now, if you already have a mantra, a goal, a person, a quote, anything at all that you're working towards, please use your own intention. I'll be speaking to mine, but that's just our class intention. I always want you to personalize these classes. To get started today, we're going to start off in tabletop position. So you'll remove your cushion or your block, and you're going to come onto your hands and knees. Your palms are going to be underneath your shoulders. Your knees are going to be underneath your hips. Now to find this opening in your hands right away, I want you to take your hands and your fingers together 
and then push them down onto the ground until it really spreads your hand apart and then push down through your wrist so your whole hand is on the ground. Then do the same thing with your other hand. Feel that nice stretch, that opening in your palm. Now I want you to take your knees, make sure they're right under your hips. Untuck your toes so that your toenails are pushed down into the ground. And then I want you to suck your belly up and into your spine. Now this is already pretty active, but I really want us to focus on form as well. So if your elbows are flaring out to the side, pull them into the midline of your body. Feel that in your armpits. Take a deep inhale. Keep your lips sealed, exhale out your nose. Couple more breaths here, remembering to keep the engagement in your hands. Continue to pull your elbows in towards each other. Continue to suck your belly up and into your spine. And lastly, now I want you to think about squeezing your inner thighs towards each other. Energetically, they're moving towards each other. I don't want them to physically move, but send the muscles in. One more breath here in. One more breath out. Tuck your back toes. We're gonna to take this exact same posture, but we're gonna lift our knees just one inch. Inhale, floating tabletop. Knees lift up just one inch. Continue to suck your belly up and into your spine. Pull your elbows in towards each other and relax your neck and jaw. Four. Three. Two. Last one, knees drop down. Take your knees out to the side. Bring your big toes to touch behind you. You're going to sink your hips down onto your heels and allow your arms to fall forward, your head to fall forward. If your forehead touches the ground, please allow it to rest gently. Now, if you're not flexible enough to do this and you have blocks or a cushion handy, you can always put a block here to go underneath your forehead. This will take pressure off of your head or you can also take it out in front of you with your hands if you're looking for a deeper stretch on the back line. Whatever you're at, I want you to make sure you're not experiencing pain or strain. These postures are here to help us, not hurt us. Connect to that intention that we set at the top of class. If the, if the intention of opening up works for you, I want you to really focus on opening up as you let your belly drop into your hips. And then as you exhale, pull your belly up and into your spine. Feel that expansion in your belly, feel that expansion in your hips. Know that you are already physically opening up to new possibilities. From here, we're going to inhale, shift back to tabletop position that we already worked on. Now I want you to bring your hands forward just a little bit. Step your feet back and we're gonna work into downward facing dog. Take a bend in your knees, lift your hips, push into your palms, and just like tabletop, I want you to take your elbows in towards each other. Now bend your knees as much as you need to to get a lift with your hips. What I want you to focus on here is that bend in your knees. I don't care if your heels touch the ground. Mine don't, and they may never. What I want you to focus on is a bending your knees because this releases tension in your hamstrings. When our hamstrings get tight, they pull on the low back, compressing our sacral and lumbar spine. This leads to mid and upper back pain. Now, if you have tight hamstrings like me, bend your knees a lot, that's okay. When we bend our knees, it means we can lift our hips. And when we can lift our hips, we can push our chest down towards our mat and towards our upper knees. Breathe into this posture for four. Gaze forward in three, two, one. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, tiptoe or step to your hands. Make sure your feet are as wide as your mat here. I want more distance between your legs for this first forward fold. This is ragdoll posture. Grab for opposite elbows. Bend your knees as much as you need to to lift your hips and then hang heavy. <sighs> Inhale, bend your hips. Bend your knees rather, lift your hips. Exhale, let all that go. Grab for the opposite elbow and just feel how it's different. Bend your knees, inhale, lift your hips. Exhale, let all that go. Toe heel your feet to touch. Take a bend in your knees. Fold heavier, grab for your calves, your ankles, or your feet. 
and then let your hands drop. Feel that difference in your depth. Take a deep inhale, lift your hips. Exhale, fold forward. Now we're slowly going to roll all the way up to standing. Take your time, stack each bone and your spine on top of each other. And when you get to the top, let your palms face forward. Feel this broad in your chest, dropping your shoulders down and back. This is standing Shavasana. This is our neutral posture while we're upright. I want you, just like we warmed up our fingers in tabletop, now we're gonna warm up our toes. Gently lift up all 10 of your toes, fan them out, and then grip them down onto the mat like a monkey. Feel this engage your inner thighs. Feel this engage the tendons and ligaments on the outside and the insides of your knees. This helps separate the bones, keeping them safe and strong in the muscles so that we prevent injury. Keep your fit, feet gripped, keep those muscles engaged in your lower body. This is gonna connect you to the foundation of your body as well as your life. Suck your belly up and into your spine. Keep that locked in. Think of when you're on a road trip and you need to use the restroom and you've gotta hold it. Those muscles down there, that's what I want you to be squeezing when I say suck your belly up and into your spine. This abdominal lock is gonna strengthen everything in your life, including your voice. Next, palms are forward, shoulders are back. From here, we're gonna get into our sun A. The first time through, we're gonna go very slow. We're gonna take about four to five breaths in each posture. I'm gonna explain a little bit about what's going on. And then after we've worked through it, we're gonna flow through that series six times. All right, let's get started. Standing, standing Shavasana. Exhale all the air out of your lungs. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach your hands up towards the sky. Bring your biceps close to your ears and breathe. While you're in this posture, I want you to pull your elbows in and then pull your shoulders down and back. Suck your belly up and into your spine and don't lose connection with your legs. So if you need to lift your toes, clench them back down, squeeze your inner thighs towards each other, whatever you need to do here to keep that active engagement. Keep breathing for four, reach your hands up for three, two, one. Exhale, standing back bend. Send your hips forward, lift with your chest, then pull your arms down like a goal post and lift your throat higher. So rather than going backwards, this is more about sending your hips forward, lifting with your chest, lifting with your heart, shoulders then go back, then the chin lifts to go back. Pull the arms down to get a deeper stretch in your subscaps. You're here for four. We go back to mountain pose in three, two, one. Inhale back up to mountain pose, reach up. Exhale, side bend to the right. I want you to grab your left wrist with your right hand. Pull your wrist to the right. Now to get a better stretch, I want you to squeeze your legs, send your hips left. So as your hips go left, you pull your hand to the right for four, back to mountain pose in three, two, one. Inhale, mountain pose, reach your hands up. Exhale, side bend to the left. Grab your right wrist with your left hand, pull your hand left. Now at the same time, send your hips to the right to get that stretch. We're opening up our intercostal muscles along your ribs. These muscles help you breathe in and breathe out. The more space we give, the better you breathe. You're here for three, two, one. Inhale, slowly come back to mountain. Exhale, standing forward, fold. Bring your hands through heart center. Again, bend your knees if you have tight hamstrings. Hinge at the waist, all the way down to the ground and stay here for four. Breathe for three. Halfway lift in two. One, inhale, halfway lift. This may look like a deadlift to people. I want you to bring your hands to your shins or the tops of your knees. You're gonna bring your shoulders back. Your spine needs to be in line with your hips. So it's like you're making an L with your body. Take that bend in your knees if you've got tight hamstrings. Pull your chest and shoulders back. Now imagine someone connected a string to the top of your head and they're pulling your head this way. Feel that length for four. Push into your legs for three. Squat and curl in two. One, exhale, squat and curl. Push into your toes to lift your heels. Tuck your chin into your throat. Forehead comes into your knee. Optional intensity. You can take your elbows, pull them into your legs and squeeze everything in. Now some cool little side note here. 
as you compress and pull everything in and you're squeezing really tight, know that at the front of your throat, you have this beautiful butterfly shaped gland called your thyroid. This is responsible for regulating your metabolism. Now, as we compress the tiny little gland here, we push all the old blood out. When you release this compression, we're gonna flow through our sun A and you're gonna invite new blood into this gland. You're helping detox your thyroid right now. Detoxification is just a word that people mean purifying the blood. You're getting rid of the old and allowing the new to come in. You're revitalizing. So keep squeezing in that squat and curl for four. We're gonna flow through this whole series in three, two, one. Inhale, mountain pose, hands come high. Exhale, standing back bend, hips forward, elbows down, chest lift. Inhale, mountain pose, hands reach. Exhale, standing side bend. Inhale. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, back to mountain pose. Exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, squat, round and curl. Nice job, team. Squeeze everything in for four. We're gonna do that again in three, two, one. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, reach up. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, squat, round and curl. Nice job, team. Squeeze for four, three, two, one. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach high. Feel the opening in your chest. Exhale, back bend, go deeper, hips forward, sternum lift. Inhale, mountain pose, really stretch, grip with your toes. Exhale, side bend to the right, really pull your hands. Inhale, mountain pose, rebalance, recenter. Exhale, side bend to the left, squeeze your hips right as you reach left. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, squat, round and curl. Pull your chin to your throat, that butterfly-shaped gland, your thyroid. Try and get your forehead closer to your knees. Now, just to get the lower body back engaged, pull your heels together. Push into your toes so that you come up even higher, so the front of your foot comes more towards the front of your mat. Now, as you push into your toes, squeeze your heels. Pull your chin to your throat. Now pull your shoulders down and back. You're here for four. We flow again in three, two, one. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, reach up. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, squat round and curl. If you follow along with what I did, congratulations, you listened really well. If you did what I taught you the first couple times, congratulations, you listened the first time and then continued through. Sorry for switching it up a little. We'll continue with the original for the last two flows. Take a deep inhale, squeeze. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, reach high. Exhale, back bend, elbows down, chest lifts. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, squat, round and curl. Last time through, team. Take a deep inhale, push into your toes, squeeze your heels. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, mountain pose, reach up. Exhale, back bend, go deep. Inhale, mountain pose, grip with your feet. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, squat, round and curl, so strong team. All right, from here, we're gonna hold a high plank just to get our core fired up before we get into sun B, and then we're done. You're so close. Push your palms down like we did in tabletop, and then I want you to step back to a high plank position. Now, just like we've been doing all of class, I don't want your elbows to flare out. I want you to pull them in, feel that strength in your armpits. Shift your weight forward just a little so you're on your tiptoes, and you're just gonna breathe like we did in halfway lift. Imagine somebody's got a string on the top of your head and they're pulling you forward. Now pull your heels back at the same time. Feel that long, strong spine. You're just here for four. Downward dog in three, two, one. Downward facing dog. Push back, take a deep bend in your knees if you need it. Pedal out your legs and then settle into stillness. <sighs> Inhale, lift your right heel up towards the sky, but then pause. Push into your left toes and spin your right hip down. Are you pushing into one of your hands more than the other? Push in evenly. Pull your elbows in. Now inhale, lift your heel a little higher. Exhale, low lunge, bring your foot through. For this next portion, I want you to make sure that your lunge is set up right, okay? So you want your knee right above your shin, or right above your ankle, rather, so that your shin is in one line. You don't wanna to come too far forward, you don't want to be back like this. That puts too much stress on the tendons and the ligaments. We want to keep it safe. Hands are going to be on either side of your foot. Spin your left hip down, but not too far. You want it to be even with your right. Now, we're going to move to crescent lunge. And that's when you move up like this. But if you have lower body pain, I want you right now just to drop your knee down. Take the pressure off your foundation. Strengthen your lower body first. We can work towards lifting up later. If you're taking your knee down, you're going to go inhale. Crescent lunge, rather crescent moon variant, but this is version here. I want you though, to keep your back toes, these ones, tucked. We wanna keep strengthening this leg. We don't want it to deactivate. When your leg's tucked, muscles stay active. So this is crescent lunge from here. Now, if you were in a low lunge and you wanna do a more intense version, you'll be here from the low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge, hands come up, reach up here. Pull your left hip forward. Pull back with your right heel. This is gonna drop you down and make you more stable. Biceps are right by your ears. Bring your shoulders back. You're just here for four. We open up to a warrior two in three, two, one. Exhale, warrior two. Spin your back heel down, but keep your toes in. Again, make sure your knee is right over your ankle. Hips are open here. You should feel your hips opening. Rather than leaning forward or leaning back, Shoulders right over your hips. Reach your arms out in opposite directions. You feel the separation. Lunge a little deeper. From here, inhale, reverse warrior. Palms flip up, left arm comes back, right hand comes up. That's it. I don't want you to lunge too far deeper. I don't want you to lunge less. I want you to stay right where you were. Just reverse. You're opening up this side as you're getting that deeper bend here. This is what we were working on in our side bends in the sun A. Now we're going deeper because we're including the lower body in a more intense stretch. One more inhale. Exhale, low lunge, hands down to your mat. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step through. Again, set it up so that your knee is above your ankle, shin is straight. Pull this knee in. If you need to drop it down, don't judge yourself. Open up to this new posture. Now, tuck your back toes, lift. Inhale, crescent lunge, hands reach up, biceps are right by your ears. Pull your shoulders down. Spin your right hip down so it's in line with the left. Pull back with your left heel. Breathe. Breathe. 
Inhale, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Spin your back heel down, toes stay in. Keep that same lunge. Reach your arms out, shoulders right over your hips. Lunge a little bit deeper. Keep that intensity for four. Flip your palms in three, two, one. Inhale, flip your palms, reverse warrior. Hands come up, right hand goes down. Keep the lunge. Breathe into your heart as you create new space. Open up to any thoughts or emotions that are coming up and then let them go. One more inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice job team. We're gonna put all of that together. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, reset your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, sweep up. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, squat round and curl. Plant your palms. Inhale, high plank, step back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step through. Inhale, crescent lunge, reach up. Exhale, warrior two to the side. Inhale, reverse, reach up and back. Exhale, low lunge, go down. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge, reach up. Exhale, warrior two to the side. Inhale, reverse, reach up and back. Exhale, low lunge, go down. Inhale, your left leg high. Exhale, down dog, so strong team, nice work. <sighs> Check the time. We've got a few minutes left, so we're gonna flow through that a couple more times. Catch your breath if you need to, or join me at the top of your mat. And a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, squat round and curl. Inhale, high plank, step back. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach up. Exhale, low lunge, reach down. Inhale, your left leg high. Exhale, downward facing dog. Oh, pet out your eggs. Take a break. And then meet me in a seated position the center of your mat, just like we did at the start of class. <sighs> Find a tall, comfortable seat. <sighs> hands on your knees, palms down. As you inhale, pull your hands in towards your hips. Feel that bring in your ribs, tightening your armpits and your shoulders. Flip your palms up and close your eyes. Listen to your body, listen to your heart, listen to your thoughts. Where are you? 
instead of running from these thoughts, these feelings, these pains, can you simply build an awareness to them and watch them shrink and disappear, leaving more space for you to build the life that you actually want to live. Thank you for choosing to spend your 30 minutes with me. Please feel free to check out any other classes I have on Desirelist. Thank you for taking time to better yourself. You're bettering everyone around you. Whenever you serve yourself, you serve your community. I hope that you have a better understanding of the physical practice of yoga, its benefits, and I hope that you continue to practice. And I encourage you, I remind you, it will always be a practice. It will never be perfect. Because it's human, just like us. Bring your hands to the center of your chest, push your palms together, lift your heart, bow your chin. Inhale. Exhale, bow forward. Namaste.